Hello. Welcome back to an episode of We Are in Front of the Howling Warren. It is uh, this dungeon right over here. The one in the uh, North Shore. The South in the North Shore. <laughs> and let's unlock this rogue thingamajig. Even if we probably never play as a rogue. Uh, or whatever. Actually, no. Rogues are pretty interesting. Uh, necromancers. Actually, any class in here is pretty interesting. Uh, especially once you have unlocked the bonus mechanic that's there. That makes it much cooler. The bonus the mechanic of the druid is actually quite... Maybe even a bit too straightforward. To say the least. It's just a buff. Right? It's just four buffs. Five buffs that you can choose from. That aren't even that strong to be like game changer. Uh, like a little bit of crit. A little bit of crit damage. A little bit of other stuff. It's not a completely new playstyle that gets unlocked or... Mm, yeah. A special mechanic should actually mean a different playstyle. The Barbarian, for example, has additional weapons. Uh, and then you can build around that. That's pretty cool. Book of the Dead, straightforward, right? Weapon imbuement, okay, that also can be considered like uh, bonus stats or whatever, but it's not really changing that much. It would only work if you know the resistance of enemies um, and then choose a weapon with a um, corresponding element. But the thing is, there are so many different enemies in here. And uh, going for a specific element mm, to go against the enemy's resistances may not even work that well. Because then you have to f change pretty much every time. I mean, it, this mechanic would make sense in a more RPG kind of thing. Um, but not in a game where you slay like a thousand different enemy. Hey! So, what about that one? Oh no, I'm gonna die. I am in a block. Nah, not a block pool. Did it explode? I think so. Whatever. Sounds like I'm whining right now, but I actually am just uh, giving good in. Uh, the, uh, yeah, if you really think about it, the whole shape-shifting thing for the druid, that could have been a, uh, a special mechanic. And not the boons. I mean, boons are cool and all, but the shape-shifting, that should be the special mechanic of the druid. And then you can shift into different forms, and depending on what form you're in, you behave differently. And it's not just a buff that you activate also. That would have made things a wee bit better. Because they know how yeah, the druid can change into maybe even a big raven or like a big chicken. Why not just a big chicken? Uh, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> That would be cool. The ultimate ability of the uh, Raven Druid. Uh, be a very, very big chicken. Couldn't have made it without you. Now we're basically talking about how creativity works. <laughs> you just take something, anything, uh, a concept or an object or whatever, and then you change, basically like science, you change a variable of it um, or you move it somewhere in a different aspect, right? You can actually put a... have an object still be the same, but if the context changes, meaning the surrounding of it, then it does have a different, uh, different function. Like um, water, basically, right? You can increase its value by moving it somewhere else. <laughs> Which is so straightforward and so stupid if you think about it. Moving water somewhere else makes it worth more. What? 
It's still the same amount of water. Actually, it is the same amount of water, and it doesn't change in value. But the value of it would change if you, for example, find some other people that don't have water near them, and then you give them the water instead. But this is more like economics. As in, have you, if you think about it, this is very creative and economical. And stupid at the same time. Because it's so straightforward. Let's take something else. Um, yeah, resistance uh, amulets or something like that. Let's say you are fighting against burning enemies like these howlers or whatever. And they deal maybe more fire damage than you're used to. Then you just need fire resistance. Nice. Question, where do you get fire resistance? From a snow area. With a snow magic right. We. Okay, what is that? Another breed one. Okay. Be quicker, come on. I want that greed to grow. There's another one. Let's just ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore all of them and fight the biggie. There you go. What happens if you have the greed thing active and you fight a treasure goblin? Yeah, and he's running right back into the cave. He would really not have made it without me. Absolutely no navigational skills whatsoever. By the way, navigational skills. I have a minimap. How do other characters in here navigate if not with a minimap? Right, so it is a wolf boss we're going to fight. Oh, stop it. And there's another one. Now let's just take both of them at the same time. Oh, oh. Oh, stop. Go ahead away. Oh, no. Yeah. Jump out of one of those magic circles. Right inside another one. Brain dead. Absolutely brain dead. Ooh. Right. Here. Now what's the special thing that we got? And let's close that. Nothing. And a dodge chance, nice. A lucky hit chance, nice. And it's a totem, okay. Oh, blood howl, yes. Thorns, even better. But we got better thorns already. What's this? Blood hurricane is active. Blech. Shape shifting skills. The thing is, there, yeah, there is. Hmm, there's something that can turn your your storm skills into an, an item, like a headpiece. Um, I think it was, yeah, that turns storm skills into werewolf skills or shapeshifting or whatever. And, uh, I think it, yeah, I think it's werewolf. So it should also be considered a shapeshifting skill. And because hurricane is a storm skill, and, uh, while it's active, it changes your shapeshifting skills. 
that would mean that once you activate Hurricane, Hurricane gets better twice. Maybe you can max this out tremendously and uh, get yourself tons, tons of Hurricane damage. That's just one problem. It's just base damage. Um, well, good base damage is the, 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 the nice starting point for everything, but still. Oh, wait. Slay all the enemies. Ugh. I went past a few of those. Let's hope I don't need to backtrack that much. Owie. Ready yet. Right, uh, well, there's nothing there. Eight more enemies to go. It's probably one epic one and an event somewhere hidden, right? I'm not ready yet. Three to go, two to go, one to go, and we got it. And we didn't get it. What happened? Slay null two. No, 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 no binding. It didn't say yes to bondage. Righty. We got ourselves... Why is that one so far away? Okay. And we got ourselves the holding Warren. Let's get out of here. And then we can explore the area to the east of here. I just have to make sure to not accidentally trigger the uh, story too much. <laughs> uh, actually, I could explore that part and that thing here and keep that one and that one for later. <laughs> so I just encroach on them sideways a little bit. Um, encroaching shadow, sh sh shadows, shadows, Ah. Well. Not ready yet. I just get very, very close to the crossing there. And the crossing is... Uh, maybe... Sorry. Wait a minute, I can just get through here. Skullstone. Wait, what was so special about that one, though? Uh... Carlson and Ruins. What was so special about these? I need time to do that. Uh, there are demons in here. It's like 50 or something. Right. Sometimes there's an event here, I think. What? Cersei and Sonsky. Sonsaku. Okay. Let's just help them out a little bit. And maybe very helpful, putting all of the uh, vulnerability effects on them. But alright, we're not here to do any events so far, we're just there to go to the other crossing. So onwards it is. I need more time. More time. Even more time. Need time to do that. A lot of time sensitivity, isn't it? There are goats and helmets and boars and roads <laughs> and braces and carcasses that lose. Wait, the flesh is still on this thing. No, it decays. Ah, it's just so cool. Alrighty. 
Did I? I don't know if I explored that section yet. I mean, there's nothing special down here with this ancient obelisks. Yes. That is an event that I like. Straightforward, just stand there. Don't die. Ah, no, 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 no. Just stand there, yes. And then you get blinded by the enemy. You can't do jack shit. You can't even attack them. Ah. Uh. Okay, one thing that you definitely have to do is cast the ability before you stand there. So once the uh, blind comes, you can still do a little bit of bonus damage. There we go. And the last one. There you go. And we got ourselves loot. And loot is good. Ah, eh, sometimes. Righty. It's one of those events. Okay, I really want to know what- wait. That actually looks like it was there before... Was there? Let's just check that out. What's so special about this house? Nothing is actually so special about that house. Hmm. Okay. Well then, let's just go back to the road. Let's not get too distracted here. Then we can do some nice inventory management. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Whoop. should be full any moment now. There you go. That it still doesn't do much. There we go. The Isle of Whispers. Search for evidence. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. In Brace Dyke. Is that where the waypoint is? Uh, wait a minute. That one goes all the way down here. And then there's probably an entrance. So yeah. That's where the waypoint is. That's where the quests are. So we are probably going to explore a little bit of that. Uh, good old area around Brace Dive. Yeah, let's, let's just do this uh, section the west here while we're at it. I need more time. So, what does it say? Gratitude. Thank you. And it is nothing. Gold rains upon you after your next kill. I don't see much gold. They haven't specified how much gold it is. <laughs> Actually, it should have just been a huge chunk of gold. <laughs> then you get hit on the head and your character dies instantly. Death by greed. Right, and there's like this thing over here. Let's explore that section here real quick. 
My Lilith sense is again tingling, but I don't think it has anything to do with that. Wait a minute. Isn't there an... Yeah, the Rawhide. What's a special down here? Nothing. Oh... The amount of times you have to go back and pick up loot of enemies that you have killed. <laughs> well, that you've killed, but kind of walked past and somehow they drop the stuff a second too late. Uh, and there we have it. All right, let's clear all of that, and then we can teleport back to the city. My bags are full. Right. Oh, wait. Uh, let's pick that one up. Thank goodness there's like a... Like, think about it. We found tons and tons and tons of resources, and our inventory is infinite, which I have nothing against. I like infinite resources. Uh, I infinite space in your inventory makes... I mean, there's like the real world with restrictions, uh, and then there's the in-game world where those restrictions would be a bit weird. Uh, it's like having uh, a hunger meter or something. It kind of makes sense, right? But do you actually want it? <laughs> uh, actually, if I think about it, if you combine hunger with buff food and... Uh, yeah, that... that ooh. Yeah, then it's like a like a buff potion, just with the hunger meter also. But then you're forced to uh, to eat that, which is uh, hmm. But why should it be bad, right? Could be an opportunity for buffs, and then you get introduced into the whole uh, cooking simple. system and all of that. That is actually pretty good, because if you don't really look into the cooking uh, system in some games, you just ignore it completely. Therefore, you will never benefit from these buffs so getting introduced into the system as a necessity uh, makes it easier to use it later it might be annoying at the beginning having to um, kind of uh, play with like a hunger meter or like stamina meter or whatever but maybe that could also enable you to get boosts out of it because Right now the character works uh, works with this kind of speed, but let's say this is kind of stamina dependent or like dashing is stamina dependent. Yeah, instead of a five second cooldown, why not give it stamina, uh, like <laughs> in the previous Diablo games? But running itself is okay, but dashing takes stamina, and uh, if you get like extreme buff food, then uh, you cannot just dash more often. Maybe you can even walk faster or something. So it has a beneficial effect on, like, normal stuff. That would be pretty sweet. Without it, you're just normal speed, right? You're not slow, but you're just normal speed. But with it, you get faster. Uh, that would be pretty, pretty, pretty cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Can we do anything else, though? Do we have some ovals? Not enough. Let's go back to the Isle of Whispers uh, and explore it a little bit. Righty. And uh, definitely have to check out that area. Because my problem mostly with like um, consumable items is that you never know when you're going to use it, so you never use it. <laughs> uh, because it kind of feels like a like a like a rarity or something, and then it just clocks up your inventory, and then you're like, okay, should I sell it? Will I need it? Uh, where do I get the next one? Right. Uh, it's basically how that works. So. Da di da di do di do. Whoop. I really have to get in here to get that marker for the waypoint. Like, okay, well, without it, I, need time to I would be screwed. Yeah, let's definitely do that. 
first we are going all the way around <laughs> uh, let's see all right yeah the whole other thing that, that, that thing gets discovered uh-huh You step one foot into that area, and the whole thing gets discovered, even if you haven't even explored the rest of it. That's weird. Righty. While we're at it, I always like those cellars. They're just so nice. You can always finish one of those cellars every few seconds or so. Every time you come across one, you can finish it. Yeah, come on. So what is this? A wandering soul! Haha. I am poisoned. Oh, Please take it back from Let it in. Okay. Now we're looking for uh, an infused one like this dude. One defeated. Where's the next one coming out of? Down here. Okay, got it. And the next one will spawn. There. Seems to always be the same kind of enemy though. I must wait like the, the enemy type may differ, right? But uh, in the event, it's always the same one. There it is. Okay, got it. And there's another one. Why can't I get more than those? Ah, oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Come on, do it, do it, do it. They die far too late. I need more time. Their death animation takes ages. would have finished that absolutely but you have to wait until they fall down and get dead and that additional little bit of time was too much so yeah that was a damage check and we failed spectacularly so let's see uh, 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 no one goes and not one goes too skadoosh Wait, that one is another connected card, then I can just go down and up again. Yeah, why not? Ooh, special enemy. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, 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 eh. Just looking at my arm there for a second. It's like driving a car. Attention on the road! <laughs> uh, I need more time. Phew, that one looks very, very, very peculiar. And, 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 oh, nothing. Okay. What about the one right next to it? I'm not ready yet. And, 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 yes. All right. There we got a will, uh, a willpower statue, a Lilith statue with willpower in it, uh, all the way in the south. Perfect. Let's just do that, explore that a little bit, and then probably all of the stuff south of the road, yeah. That's pretty easy to do. Time to do that. La 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 la. And this one says greed. Uh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Okay, what do we got? Um, hmm. I did get a buff. I just don't know what it was. 
Maybe like a lightning or something. I need time to do that. to a completely different area. Let's let that one be. And, and it's just that part there. Yeah. Good. Got that much. That one goes, that one goes, that one. Hmm, okay. Resistances are just useless in this game. At least at this difficulty. Hmm. Hmm. If you think about it, it kind of makes sense that armor has a certain elemental resistance to it, right? Like you don't freeze to death if you have some clothing on, for example. So very basic. But... In this case, it would make it too easy, almost, to resist uh, magical damage. What is this? That's new. Search the cocoons for villagers. Uh, all right. No, it's not new. I did something like that before. All right, we got them. Did we? No. We need villagers. It's not that I need to search the cocoons. I need villagers. There's another one. Okay, we got them. What do we have to do? Keep all the villagers alive. Um. Uh huh. Well, I would definitely do that. If they, I don't know, go to me. And try to not get themselves killed. Like, this is. They would need a ton of health, actually. Okay, let's hold them all towards one spot. I could help. 22 seconds to go. I must wait a okay, we are actually destroying all of those cocoons, right? Where are all of those spiders coming from? You gotta be kidding me. Did I actually? Oh. Nice. So when it comes to those survivors, those adventurers, they're gonna die instantly. But when it comes to people that you have to save out of a cocoons, travelers, without any combat experience, those dudes are not gonna die at all. Something is weird about the scaling of these people. Right, and we are almost there. Once I've gotten the horse, I'm... Ooh, yes. I don't know. Should I do some main mission in between, just in case? Or should I just explore the whole map and then do the main mission? Not quite sure. Maybe I should just keep them... Yeah, maybe we are going to keep the story uh, until the end. Uh, let's see how far we can level <laughs> without actually doing any little stuff. It does. Like, yeah, there's. Ooh. There should be a hidden timer. Like, if you take too long to continue with a certain step in, uh, in the story, then I don't know. All hell breaks, breaks loose or. There's a certain switch to the story that is unexpected. Meaning that demons take over all of the settlements and you lose con... Yeah, you lose... Uh, 
all of the merchants or so that you could get nice items from or quests or whatever. That would be so annoying. Oh, that would be really annoying. But it would be an interesting mechanic. And maybe you would then be able to talk to demons instead and they just take their place. Oh yeah, that would be cool. And then you have like two factions, right? At, at the beginning you have one faction, like the humans. And then demons come up and then they slowly but surely take control over the uh, settlements and so on. And then you can either choose to side with the demons or not. That would be sweet. Maybe even have a peaceful uh, outcome coming out of it, if you really want to. But that would give it a completely different edge. What this one? Ravenous Predator's Offering. What is this? Search for evidence of... No. Harvest spirit energy from wildlife. Yes. Why must it be wildlife? And it's not just normal wildlife, it's like aggressive wildlife, is it? Yeah, it's aggressive wildlife. It's not deer or anything. Yeah, those, for example, they... Nope, they do not have... They are not wildlife, somehow. Okay, I'm looking out for enemies. They are further to the east. Hmm, if I would be a Lilith statue, where would I be? Probably somewhere around there or so. At a spot that's very difficult to see. Right. Boop. And just a wee bit more for you. Who is a snowy wolf? Oh, yes. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Using two different elemental enemies against each other. So you lure an ice enemy towards, like, fire enemies, and then, I don't know. It's usually always fire and ice, right? But maybe you can get a different uh, outcome for a different kind of game. Like, let's say it's more technological kind of game, then it's like... Bah, what could you use? Uh certain mechanical uh, features or so. Yeah, maybe this game is more like advanced enemies against uh, technology kind of enemies. So it's like T-Rex against mechs or something like that. Then you just lure them towards each other, and then they fight, and then you're good. It's like Monster Hunter, if you think about it. Monster Hunter was cool. So, what is up here? I feel a quest connected to this place. But right now, we need dead. Yeah. And bears. And uh thorn beasts. And wait, there is another soul right there. Mm, did I no I didn't. I, need I more did time. not check that road here. Always check every road. Just in a road. A, a road. You okay? Already taking far too long. Razors. Should you pronounce it vase or vase? It is done. Hmm, yeah. How should you pronounce that? Vase or vase? And then what's it called? Face or farce? <laughs> uh, oh, I love those plays. Righty. Uh, yeah, let's... Did I? 
I think I explored that part. Didn't know. I think I did. So, yeah, then there was this thing right there, and then it went down. Then I want to explore that section next. And then we are really, really, really close to the settlement. And before we I enter that thing time. and do anything else, they're definitely going to do some inventory management. Which, uh, yeah, we could also do in here, but this may not be the main area. It may trigger something. Alrighty. So, let's go back to Karagar. Hoi. Teleporting back to Karagar did not get stopped by enemy attacks. Interesting. And we are going to get... Oh, ah, hmm. I definitely need a better weapon. <gasps> that one is not high enough. But I also want the gloves in order to... You've got to be kidding me. Distant enemies have 8% chance to be stunned for 2 seconds. When they hit you, you deal uh, increased damage to stun. Oh! Mm, hey, that's good. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. But the, hmm, and it also has critical strike chance. Better, higher critical strike chance. Yes, lightning storm, meh. Okay, we definitely lose out on the willpower, which is a wee bit of a problem. Hmm, you deal 28%. Okay, for each active companion, how much damage do we uh, deal with the core skills then? Um, I got... Four ravens, three wolves, and two um, two vines. That's like nine. Okay, nine times four is forty something. Uh, meaning that this armor is not better. <laughs> Sadly, it's just point whatnot increase in critical strike, which can be increased a bit more. Yes, but uh, maybe I should just extract the aspect out of it. That would make sense. Now, what about keys? Let's just get another one. Until I have like 10 uh, again and then everything's good. But this one is really, 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 really cool. It makes it so that ranged enemies cannot kill you. And you get a little... Actually, what this does, it changes the playstyle that you have to do. Or at least the targeting. So... You're gonna get attacked from enemies from afar, right? They they shoot magic or bolts or whatnot. Magic or bolts. Uh, bone arrows, bolts, whatever. At you. And uh, then you stun them. And once they get stunned, you have to attack them in order to deal more damage to them. And this kind of leads you to do the damage to them. Huh. The thing is, you could stack that. But it's an 8% chance. Which is pretty much nothing. And... Uh, yeah, if it's nothing and I don't even intend to use it, then I can just shred the whole thing. I forge more than horseshoes and nails. Right. Let's see. We're gonna junkify this and uh, and, 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 and and let's see. Mysterious prism, yada yada, world bosses, and uh, what's this? Sacred and uh, this stuff does not drop in this difficulty. Obtained by using the occultist to salvage nightmare sigils of any tier. Uh -huh. Some other sigils. Doesn't seem to be any nightmare stuff in here. I don't know if there's like... And the fiend rose. Hmm. Hell tired. All of those mechanics I did not yet take part in. Hmm. Veiled crystals on the other hand, they are very useful. So let's just get that and sell the rest. Okay, what about weapons then? 350, same amount of damage. Uh, totem, again, critical strike chance, yes, but the lowest amount. I want at least something slightly better. What else we got? Uh, wolves, strength. None of this is higher uh, armor. And this is usually our criteria to choose that. I think I should just get rid of this amulet. Hmm. I still keep it around just in case. 
just in case we really 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 need defenses and uh don't want to go back but it does take away precious slots in my inventory which is also a problem and i also don't like it but okay let's see Let's go back here. And this is where we're going to end this episode. Until next time, like and subscribe. And uh, let's hope the wolves are not going to... Aha! Got it. Uh oh I just stand still and hope they don't notice. We got peace bone. Oh, yes. As I said. And the next time, then like and subscribe and uh... Farewell. Ta-ta!